Uh, g'day folks, um, I've got my four string here because I want to just talk a little bit about um, a particular tuning that I use uh, um, called Vestipole tuning. Um, now Vestipole really is, is a six string tuning so, so what I'm doing is using the top four strings from Vestipole um, and leaving out the bottom two. And then what I'm doing here today is tuning the whole thing up a, up a tone. So I'm tuned to the key of E. Um, I'll, I'll either use this tuning in E or the more traditional D. Um, I've got it in E for now because I want to play some slide and it just puts, it just makes the strings a lot, puts a lot more tension on them, it's easy to play slide. And I just want to explain a couple of reasons why I like this particular tuning. Um, first of all, and most importantly, I've got the tonic on the bass and on the top. So there's my octave. Now that means that I've got a shorter range, smaller range, than I would if, if I, say, had the, the one there and there. Um, but that's not a big problem. That's no big deal. I've still got two octaves up to there. That's fine. And it means I can play closed voicings. A closed voicing is where you have the whole chord within the octave. Um, I can play open voicings as well. Um, yeah, there's a seventh chord. Um, but I've, I've got that option to play these these tighter piano type closed voicings, which you can't get on a um, if you if you don't have that that narrower. Uh, range octave there to there. Now, a, a lot of the language that I'll be using here is maybe maybe uh, beyond a few people if you don't have your theory knowledge. But I'll, if that's the case, then um, that's all right. Just bear with me, and just other people will will dig it. So um, they'll they'll be playing examples too. Yeah. So so that that's one big advantage. I've got the tonic on the bass, which means that when I'm hammering away on the on the on the bass, that's my one note, right? And it's on the bottom. Now, there's again, we won't worry about the theory, but there's lots of good reasons why you want your tonic note to be the lowest note available, the lowest note that you play. Um, it's the it's the root, it's the bottom. Right? It just works that way. Um, and I've also got the tonic on the top, means that my scale is here, is is within that that visual um, sort of interface really, isn't it, the fretboard? I've got, I've got my tonic right through there, so I know that when I get to the 12th fret, I resolve back to the key, back to the one. Likewise, to play a riff, I know that that open string, which is a natural sort of way to relax, you just take your hand off, is resolving to the one. When you're playing slide, you play you, most of your stuff is on the top string. Not necessarily, but you know it's good to have your top. Do you? Most people use their top string a lot to slide up and down on. And it also means that I've got the five string there on the second, which gives me all these thirds. You know, minor thirds, major thirds, in that traditional shape. That if you play it a a three string or a six string, you know, that's like a fourth away, that's how you tune in standard. Um, that's that's a great way to play your thirds, you know, people, guitar players are used to that. And it, because it works. Well, your turnarounds and that sort of thing, you know. Um, are, are quite easily to play like that. Um, I'll just play a few things, shall I, and show you how this tuning works. One of the great licks in this tuning is this one here. So what have I got there? Just the five note now on the third fret, and the flat seven note there on the third fret as well. And then back here to the second fret. And then open. Open, yeah. Or I can stay here. The action on this is really, really dodgy, so that's why I'm buzzing. And then on the third, for the minor third, 
You can do that sort of lick on other on other instruments on other in other tunings as well. But being able to resolve back to the one there is so easy. You know, if that was the, if that was the third on top, then I'd have to be doing that somewhere else. You know, and, I, and you want that sort of lick high up. I can also go down to the flat seven and back up to that again, real easily. Again, I'm resolving to the five just there, right? Again, it's a nice, easy, relaxed, open res resolution. Um, a lot of slide players spend a lot of time up here on the 12th fret. Not really a scale, but a, but a common sort of approach is to play all the notes on the 12th and the 10th fret. Okay, that's the one, the seven, the five, the four, the three, the two, the one, the seven, right? You can also play the minor third on the eleventh fret there on the third string up to the major third, so. Fret 12 again, fret 11, 12, back to 11 and 1. That's a really common little bluesy pattern. Playing on a slide. You can also do that 11 up to 12 here on the second string. And you've got the flat 5 bluesy note. One there, 11, 10 on the second string, 11, 12, and it's just okay. So you got all that really cool stuff there in the 12th position as well. You got this uh, stuff up there on the top, and you've also got a similar thing going on here around about the uh, what's that, the seventh, eighth fret. That's the flat three blues note there. On the, on the second string, on the 8th fret, and then directly above that, on the 3rd string, you've got the tonic, so you go, there's a little, and then flat 7, 1, the same as that, but you can do it with a slide here. Flat three, one. five, flat three, one. Um, those diatonic thirds I was talking about before, you can play this sort of lick. By bending the flat third up to the major third on the second string, eighth fret, and keeping the five on the top there. You can also play uh, your tritones, right? So as well as that sort of third major third minor third, you got your tritones right there that are very easy to play as well. I'll try to get my slide out of the way. Take it off. That's that's iconic little riff there, and it, and it couldn't be easier to play. Right? Okay, so that's over the over the one chord. Um, there's a whole lot of things you can do with tritones. We don't need to go into them now, but they're, they're, they're very easy to play in this tuning, and that's that's the point of this. Yeah, we're talking about the tuning. So um, there's there's a really good reason that Vestapol is such a good tuning for slide. 
uh, for six string players and it's been used for a very long time and it translates to the four string I mean it's just like playing playing a uh, playing a you know a big guitar a six string guitar um, but you just don't have the bass notes but you still got the bass note on the one which you, on the bottom the bass note on the bottom the one note in the bass which is a really important thing to have Same sort of thing down a semitone in D by just tuning the tuning every every note down a tone I should say down to D uh, and most of my lessons will be in D and most of my, the stuff in my course is in D um, I just uh, because I just tuned it up for this one because I could slide on it uh, so yeah have a go at that eh? I'm using the top four strings on a set of light electric strings here, uh, just because that's all I had when I, <laughs> when I got this guitar sorted. Uh, that's why I've tuned it up. If I had thicker strings, I could leave it at D. Um, and play around with that because, um, you know, you'll find with a little bit of work, um, not too much, um, that you can get some really cool bluesy stuff out of that tuning. Cheers.